Spawning here in the top right hand side with the red SCVs. Give it up for CWT's striker. And in the bottom right with the the, the pinkish pale drones. It's, it is a color. Give it up for Irks launch. All right, guys. Butter TVZ. This is truly my favorite thing. And you might you might think that I sound sarcastic. Well, that's because I always sound sarcastic. I do genuinely think this is something I enjoy to watch. Butter, great map. Zerg, great race. Terran, great opponent to beat. Both of these players, great players. I got some hope here. I'm gonna break out that hopium. All right, looks like Launcher's gonna go ahead and 12 hatch here. Finally, someone wants to macro on this map. Look at it, guys. It's a macro build. I don't know what to do. How do I cast this? This isn't a seven pool. All right, Striker playing it nice and close to the command center just in case it is an early pool. This just makes it easier to defend everything. All right, pool is coming on up. Striker getting the scout and everything. It's like, all right. Easy enough. All right, SCB is going to go ahead and just scout around. Ooh. Drone scout. All right. Not something you see very often, but. SCB is uh, taking a break. All right, set of links coming on up. All right, we're going straight into factory, and this does get scouted. Ooh, vultures, Goliaths, all those scary things. This is now exactly what Launch is thinking. So all you need is a sunken. Oh, and we trapped the SCV. What? Oh, Launch. All right, this is your game, my man. Two hatch muta. Going to be a little bit rough. Double factory. Yeah. This is going to be a rough game for mutas. Let me tell you something. Not quite build order loss, but um, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be something. All right, yep. There's the anti vulture sunk. There's the armory. There's the machine shop that's gonna allow you to get that vulture up range upgrade. All right, vulture Goliath range upgrade. You'll probably also get mines and eventually vulture speed. You need speed vulture, untouchable for Zerg for the most part. Hey, hey, Suri. All right, Spire coming up in the natural. Burrow as well. All right, double vultures. We're going speed first. All right. So we're going to go heavy into the vultures first. We get in this just for like aesthetics. <laughs> generally, generally you want to build Goliath when you, when you get, when you get the Goliath building. All right. 
Oh yeah, this is beautiful. This is nothing's getting through here. All right, we got vultures all over the map. Launch is gonna find these couple over here. It's like, all right, there's the vultures you had earlier. That's cool. All right, Goliath men are on the way. Vulture is getting ready to look for a third base. Evo, look at this wall off, guys. This is beautiful. Now, this is the wall you can be proud of. All right, we're getting armor, which is good against mech. We definitely wanted to get that armor upgrade for the mutas. The vulture split off in every direction. Look at that. That is beautiful micro. All right, more mutas coming to join the fight. All right, Goliath men are here. Range almost done. And who needs turrets? Turrets are for nerds. I don't need turrets. I've got walking turrets. Look at these death machines. All right, vulture sprint under the mutas. All right, third base is trying to go down here. Vultures are going to end up going in there here in just a moment to start throwing rocks at it. Or not. All right, that's cool. I mean, if you don't want to kill my base, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no. Oh, any amount of target firing there probably would have killed a muta. All right, we got a full control group, guys. We got, we got eleven, but you know, you know what I mean. It is as full as it's getting, because there's also an overlord. All right, turret's coming on up here. Burrowed Ling here for visibility reasons. Burrowed Ling here to deny the base. This Ling, oh. <laughs> Almost makes it past the vault. All right, mines have started going down, and that just makes life annoying for the Zerg. Oh, got to run. All right, second group of mutas coming on up here. And... You can win if you have good Muta Micro, you get your upgrades, and you take the right fights, right? But it's just... Mutas against Goliaths are just annoying, because if you're not careful, the Goliaths instantly win. Yes, I might be talking from personal experience. Don't worry about it. All right. Oh, gets another muta and gets on out. Triple sunken. No vultures getting in here today. All right, we got a lot of Goliaths here. We got turrets. We are ready. We are ready for the mutas. I don't know. This is also just a really bad spot to fight into, I feel like. All right, let me attack into you where you have turrets and all your, all your reinforcements are coming. 
Yeah, I don't... I don't... Launch, what was that? Launch, my man. My boy. What was that? We, we lost basically a full con control group of mutas there. All right, we are back up. Thankfully, with Zerg, you can just rebuild very quickly. It's a very nice feature, honestly. Oh, losing mutas to turrets. Oh, God, that feels so bad. All right, more creep colonies coming on up. Man's really betting his life on the uh, static defense. Repair boys are still repairing, mind you. The repairs never stop. Someone will inev inevitably always need healing. If you've ever played Overwatch, you know. You know damn well there's always someone who needs healing. All right, um, I think Zerg might have enough here, depending on how each person target fires. Yeah, Zerg's got enough here, I think. We're gonna trade out. We're gonna lose this tank. Oh, we don't even get the sunk in. That's unfortunate. Oh, another free tank. Damn. All right, well, suddenly launch is just winning. I mean, one might be the more correct term. If if only Mutas could end games, then it would definitely be over. But, I mean, look, you're up 40 supply against the Terran, and that's all army supply. Granted, it's all Mutas supply. But Mutas are still pretty good, believe it or not. All right, oh, we're gonna pay the retreat tax there on some of our mutas. All right, fourth base coming on up here. Terran still just powering on two bases. But we are approaching that point where Terran is needing a third base, and they do need it. Something fierce. Poor Ling. That's a lot of turrets with Goliaths here in the bottom of the Terran main. Yeah, we launch is just he's going full Protoss here. He's like, hey, you know what? I can build walls out of static defense. I'm basically a Protoss player. This is where you just drop an Evo right here or something. You really mess with the Terran. Terran's like, wait, am I am I playing a Protoss or a Zerg? So the problem for Zerg here is that this army, not really good at busting this, right? Plus one mech here is going to run amok of you. We are getting queen energy. Gamete meiosis. Them sex cells going to be replicating. So yes, that does mean energy is stored in the balls. Yes, that is 
about where it's at. All right. Terran looking to take that third base. It's that time. I don't know where this command center's flying. It's not quite the right direction. Bye, Overlord. Oh, you love to see it. Mmm, baby. Queens and ZVT. I want to see an infested command center, damn it. Ah, it's a scouting command center. Oh, I haven't seen that in years. Most people have kind of decided that it wasn't really worth it. So it's been a while since I've seen that. Alright, we are just trading the mutas out, I guess. <laughs> we killed some turrets and a uh, couple goliaths, at least. Alright, third base is up. Lots of boys just chilling, though. Don't worry, guys. We're helping, in air quotes. Honestly, these guys just don't want to work, and I don't blame them. I also don't want to work. That's more of a product of me being a lazy bastard. These guys get called on it by their manager, sent back to the mines. Oh. Bye, Overlord. All right. Terrence get ready to push up into the boomerang. He's, he's got one tank. Oop. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't mean to run into you here. Oh, tanks don't give a damn about your high ground, though. Even when tanks miss, they don't miss. Parasite. Let's go. He just parasited two tanks. He's going to lose the queen for it. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh. Move commanding through the minefield. You love it. Terra's like, oh, if you're that brain dead to mines, I just might as well lay more of them. And now this is one of the fights of all time. All right, we got defilers and ultras coming on up here. We got all these other queens. Did we get spawn ruling? I didn't actually see if he did. All right, one one Goliath, absolutely shredding hydras, because. Of course, you know, Goliaths counter everything. Goliaths are quite literally the strongest unit in the game. Alright, give me a command center. Infest it. You just take the mutas, dive into his main, target it down, infest it, and just start spamming out infested Terran. Absolute Giga Chad move. All right, queens are coming in. Dark Swarm goes down. Dark Swarm does not protect flying units. Bye, tanks. Yeah, oh my god. So many broodlings. Oh, man. And we still got energy. We've still got one broodling left in us. Oh baby. That was that was beautiful. 
All right. Time to LOL A move. <laughs> what happened to your tanks, Terran player? All right. Ling's tanking the mine heads, which is exactly what you want. GG is called. And Zerg taking home game number one with the best possible option. The Queen.